It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're live with Express on what has been a superb Wednesday morning. Time now to get creative. Since its inception in 2015, the Body My Space Public Art Festival, which is held annually in the Emakazeni local municipality in rural Mpumalanga, has featured a thousand artists and performers. That's incredible in their mission to make art a part of everyday life. And with the festival going digital in 2021, as one does in these times, the public, we are being encouraged to share our community, um, share with our community against the backdrop of a COVID-19 setting and then access the festival program for free from the world's first ever art festival taking place on a dedicated WhatsApp line. Joining us now via video call from the festival team is Namachejo Kutsoane and joining you in studio is dancer Darian Adams to share more about the involvement in this exciting event. So good to have you with us, but also it's for you. Yeah. Yes, but also <laughs> for you, Namachejo. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, well done on the track record thus far. Incredible achievements. We've all had to make those adjustments for 2021. We don't want the barriers to stand in our way. I've got to ask you, though, what challenges have you faced with the festival over this past year? And what prompted you to make that decision to take the festival program onto WhatsApp for the first time? Well, the pandemic did to us what it did to everyone, and that was challenge us to have to rethink how we uh, do things. And so that meant that we become part of thinking about how to migrate online. And for the creative industries, that was especially difficult. But we saw some festivals give it a go and lead the way. And those festivals that come to mind are the National Arts Festival and the Jomba Dance Festival. So they helped us to think about how the My Body, My Space Public Arts Festival, which true to its name, was a public event, could rethink the intimacy that the festival created when international artists and enthusiasts descended on the streets of Emma Kazeni where performances, installations and exhibitions were showcased. How, how do we realize that in this um, digital reality? So we asked them, how, what did you learn? And true to our form, what is the forgotten angle? And we discovered that a lot of the content made available online is high definition, long form, and where data is very, very expensive in our context, it means that people who are on the margins of socioeconomic comfort are potentially missing out on this. And through a lengthy process, we found out that WhatsApp might be the very best way to digitally democratize, um, you know, to democratize the digital space. And so the work then, once we decided on that, became how to retain the festival's ethos, which as we did in the public arts um, design was create intimacy, create community, create access because it was a free festival and, and leave no one behind. So then it became an exciting challenge to think about how we translate the my body, the my space into this digital format. Digital democracy. I love that. Love that. Now, now Mashiach, I also have to ask you, of course, with a festival featuring over 70 works from artists in various locations around the world, what did it actually take to put <laughs> everything together sure. in this way? And what kind of pieces were submitted? Ooh, so much work, so much work. <laughs> we cast out our net um, with a call and we engaged our networks. Um, lots of our prep involved countless Zoom powwows and collective shaping with our friends and thinking partners and collaborators. In fact, for a good number, from the good number of, of submissions, we found, we observed that many of the artists couldn't articulate how their works would translate for an online showcase. And so that pointed to how this pandemic has asked of many of us to learn new skills in order to successfully adapt to this reality and survive the digital realm, right? So to meet this, we developed a training program with our festival partners, Low Def Film Factory and Phoenix and Owl to facilitate the training process towards um, upskilling some of our participants and coming out on the other end with product. And some of that product that's come out is so cutting edge 
reach and really gives the more established artists a run for their money. Mm. And that was made possible by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and the National Arts Council of South Africa, who made it possible for us to also commission artists to have some income at this mm. time. I mean, part of the big worries of artists at the moment has been how do we live? How do we eat? You know, but it also took a lot of uh, learning about how the platform works. And if you're familiar with the World Health Organization and South Africa's COVID helpline, it's very similar. We'd already decided that we want to go low definition um, and short form as a counter to what was happening in the migration. And so the platform service providers limitation that we could only upload 25 megabytes of media became a big part of how we guided the artists for how to work with their content. That 25 megabytes is about three minutes of um, video uh, content and that three minutes is key where there have been complaints about screen saturation or digital fatigue but also with the festival's interest in creating something that would just slot into your day you know in between things when you're boiling a kettle when you're in a car that you're not driving <laughs> there are menus of works that you can enjoy um, dance theater workshops an exhibition fine art some podcast style offerings and crafts even you know, forget about rolling with the punches. This seems like a quantum leap forward in, in development. This feels like the most positive kind of evolution of what you could be doing. Um, absolutely yeah. amazed by, by what you've been able to achieve. We've got Darian obviously here in studio, um, who is living the process. Um, and I'm, I'm dying to know what that process was like for you. Maybe we can start by, by you telling us a bit more about your submission to the festival titled Home. Yes, so I created Home. So I'm part of an organization called Asitej SA, Cradle of Creativity, and I was one of the selected choreographers to create work for young audiences. And then we were then moved to the, the My Body, My Space platform. And for me, creating home was about me celebrating where I come from and, and embodying this space um, called Manenberg um, and really celebrating the space and the beauty of the space. And I um, called on friends who are all purely based man were creatives and intellectuals who, and we decided that this is what we're going to create for us to reclaim what home is for us and to beautify and to say that Manaberg is a wonderful and a gorgeous space besides all the negativity that is already there. So, and it was my personal journey coming from lockdown, being stuck at home, mm -hmm. and then me accepting that space as wonderful, beautiful, and safe specifically. And that's what prompted me to create Reclamation Home, yeah. I, I love that. A cathartic journey as well. Was mm. it difficult squeezing all of that into three minutes? Truly. <laughs> it was very difficult. But um, I think I discussed it with a lot of people um, at home and what home meant for them. And we had to quickly just squeeze it into a space that I think people will recognize as the manor work space, which is um, what they would call the courts. And to have the people witness it and the kids witness it. Um, it was more really about us as a community celebrating and, yeah. Congratulations on Thank being you. a part of what sounds like the most wonderful evolution, revolution mm. yes. um, within arts. Welcome the digital era. I'm going to probably say digital democracy about 20 <laughs> times today. Uh, uh, Namachekho, thank you so much for the work that you have clearly put in on the back end of this. Now, hopefully you can just enjoy the fruits of your labours by seeing some amazing artwork being enjoyed by South Africa at large. And I'm going to reiterate that the My Body, My Space Public Arts Festival is accessible via what? app you can just send hi to uh, uh, 076 011 O triple four. That number's on screen. We'll keep it on all of our social media platforms and proudly um, promote that. Just follow the prompts and um, it'll be available up until the 30th of March. So you've got plenty of time to sink your teeth into what sounds some, like some amazing contributions. So, Darren, thank you so much for coming through so and joining us this, me, yes. this morning. Hopefully that's inspired you. If you need more inspiration, let's turn to the silver screen.